Chairman reporting for Prima Magazine from the ETI conference in Amsterdam. And we are talking here with Antonio Zoccoli from INFN, who this morning uh, presented uh, uh, a new uh, large European project about um, high performance computing. So, welcome. Um, Thank you very much. And can you tell a little bit about the, uh, the project? Yes. So this is an IPCA project, means uh, it's an important project of common European interest. This is a typical project uh, which uh, can be submitted to the European Commission and is uh, concerning high performance computing and big data applications. The basic idea of the project uh, is uh, to develop uh, a new infrastructure which can uh, provide services to different uh, communities, both uh, in research and uh, in the applications. I mean, uh, for example, public administration, health, smart energy, smart agriculture, or whatever. So different applications which are not uh, forming part of the research field. Everything is, however, starting from the research infrastructure for computing which have been developed in the last years from physics mainly. So high energy physics have developed the WLCG infrastructure, which is a federated infrastructure of many computer centers interconnected via ultra broadband and which provide a very good work and allowed to analyze the data produced at CERN in the last years and in a very short time, in 2012, it was possible to discover the Higgs boson using the data acquired a few months before. So it performed very well. So the idea is to use, to start from such a good infrastructure for data and to make it evolve, both to cope the requirement of research and to provide services for other communities like a private sector, for example, public administration. This is a basic idea. Then, uh, in order to reach this goal, uh, there is a lot of work to do. So on one side, uh, one has to have uh, technological development in order to use the most advanced technologies available and to develop new technology, both on the high performance computing side, for example, to develop a new chip, or on the data structure, to develop a new way to interconnect storage sitting, for example, in different places in, uh, in Europe. The second part is to develop uh, the infrastructure. So to update infrastructure, to make it more efficient, to make capable to be ready for different communities and to be possible to assess from different users. And the third one is to have an application, so to try to make a, a use case with a few, uh, few arguments where you can apply, some from research, from, some from the private sector, and see how this model can work, this project can work, how it can be implemented, how it can be funded, and which is a possible governance. So this is the basic idea it was presented today and we hope by middle of 2016 to have a first draft of the project and to start then the implementation. Can you tell uh, who is involved in the project? Because I understand there are different countries. The project is involving some European countries. It is involving Luxembourg, which is leading the project. It is involving Italy. France and Spain. These are the four states uh, which are at the moment involved in the project. But then, uh, probably during an evolution, if uh, the project will work, this will be open to all the European community. Mm -hmm. And how will the project be uh, financed? The budget scheme uh, is uh, a modular scheme. It means that uh, we have uh, some uh, proponent entities uh, like coming basically from research which will use part of their budget uh, to finance this project but then uh, it is foreseen to use uh, uh, ministerial uh, budget 
both uh, from uh, Ministry of Research and uh, from Ministry of Development, Economic Development and uh, to use uh, structural funds, which are mainly a regional fund or fund coming from Europe. And finally, of course, uh, the funding coming from Horizon 2020 or other kind of uh, funds which uh, Europe uh, is uh, providing to us. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for sharing this with us. Thank you very much, Steve.